An implant impression is used for transferring the position of an implant in the jaw onto a plaster model. The dental technician then uses the plaster model to produce the appropriate artificial tooth. We distinguish between two different techniques. The pickup and the repositioning technique. The pickup technique is the more accurate of the two, but requires more work on the part of a dentist. We want to briefly explain the differences between the two techniques by means of a video. Here you see a patient after the completed implantation. The patient was involved in an accident in which her anterior teeth and parts of her jawbone were knocked out. She did not want the lost piece of jawbone to be reconstructed because the red-white aesthetics was not that important to her, due to a deep smile line. Now you can see the situation after the removal of the stitches and prior to the taking of the impression. The temporary denture is removed and one can see the gum formers or so-called gingival formers. These caps help the gums heal after the implantation has been performed. The gingival formers must be unscrewed for the impression to be taken. First, let's demonstrate the pickup technique for you. The respective impression posts are placed on the implant and are screwed tightly to the implant with the so-called wax-up screw. The fit of the impression posts on the implants must be checked closely because if they don't fit perfectly, the dental technician will inevitably produce a faulty crown. Now the impression tray is customized. An opening for the wax-up screw is cut into the tray because after the hardening of the impression material, the wax-up screw must be loosened from the implant. This is the only way to separate the impression tray, together with the impression posts, from the implant. In this case, two separate holes were cut. Now you see how the impression tray is filled with the impression material. In addition, impression material is also spread around the impression posts, usually with a nozzle. This is to ensure that the posts stick to the impression and don't move around. After the impression compound hardens, the wax-up screw can be loosened from the implant thanks to the holes in the customized impression tray. The impression, including the impression posts, are removed from the patient's mouth. So you have seen that in the pickup technique, the impression post remains in the impression tray without any handling of any kind. In the repositioning technique, this is not the case. Here you see a brief animation about the repositioning technique. The implant is anchored in the jawbone, onto which the impression post is screwed in the repositioning technique. Since the repositioning post remains in the patient's mouth when the impression is loosened, the tray does not have to be customized. In effect, the tray doesn't have to be individualized in any way. The impression post is only unscrewed from the implant after the removal of the impression tray and then repositioned into the impression tray, hence the name repositioning impression. However, a problem can occur in that the subsequent handling of the impression tray may result in a warped impression. Although the dentist has less work with the repositioning impression, this type of impression-taking technique is naturally more prone to flaws.